Welcome back to a series about how to use AmpScript in the Salesforce Marketing Cloud to build dynamic emails. My name is René Winkelmeier, and in this episode, we will talk about some of the foundational elements of AmpScript. You will learn about condition evaluation, as well as how to use inline statements. So let's go. In our previous video, we created a new data extension and use that data in a basic email to display the first name. The value of the first name is displayed using a personalization string. And these strings are standard functionality to access data and not specific to AmpScript. And as I said, you use them with double percentage delimiters. If you use them directly in your email content. If you want to use them with an AmpScript, it's a bit different. So let's see how. We're back in Email Builder and I've selected our content block. We will now change the personalization string to be an AmpScript inline statement. These inline statements allow you to position output from AmpScript within any point of your email. To make the change more visible to you, we will add another line. What you see here is an inline AmpScript statement. It is enclosed with two percentage and one equal sign as delimiters. Let's see what happens when we change my placeholder to first name. We run a preview. And nope, that doesn't work. Even though first name is an attribute in our data extension, AmpScript doesn't know what to do with first name. What we have to do in our inline statement is to tell AmpScript to output the value of the attribute. For that, we use the V function that can output the value of a variable. This function takes one parameter, which is the variable that we want to display. So let's start the preview of our email message to see if it works now. And there we go. Let's customize our email a bit more. We have this generic sentence in the middle. And we want to change that so that our email recipients will see a different text, depending if they are a VIP customer or not. For that, I added another attribute to our My Subscriber Data extension, which is called isVIP. This attribute has a data type Boolean, which either means it's true or false. We delete the current sentence and add a conditional if statement. There are a couple of things to highlight here. First, there is no equal sign as delimiter as you've seen it from inline statements. Instead, we are using square brackets. This is called a script block in AmpScript. It can do a bit more than inline statements, like having multiple steps. Or, as in our case, conditional logic checks. Second, we are checking the value of the Boolean attribute with equality comparison. If you're coming from JavaScript and wondering if there is strict equality comparison with three equal signs, the answer is no. A conditional if always has to end with an end if, which declares the end of the check. And in between, we enter the sentence that we want to display for VIP customers. Now, we eventually also have non-VIP customers to whom we want to display a different sentence. For that, we add below our VIP customer sentence an else statement. Note that any conditional check can only have one else statement and not more. There's also else if to run multiple checks, which we will cover in another video. Okay, let's enter our non-VIP customer sentence. And let's go back to preview to see if we did everything correctly. And on this data row, the attribute is set to false and we see the non-VIP customer sentence. When we switch to a data row of a VIP customer, we see the VIP customer sentence. You may envision that as we add more and more of this to our email, that it can to start look cluttered, mixing up our script with content and vice versa. This is what we will look at our next video. We will resolve this by organizing our AMP script into script blocks and to simplify the display of our content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.